Hello story time friends. In today's story time we are going to learn about butterflies for National Learn About Butterflies Day. So let's see what kind of stories we have for butterflies. So there are one million different species of insects. Butterflies, grasshoppers, ants, and bees are all insects. Insects live in the air, in the water, and on land. You can find insects in an icy lake or a steamy jungle and hot deserts. So, first, butterflies are insects. There are more than 200,000 known species of butterflies and moths. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference between a butterfly and a moth. They do look pretty similar, don't they? So, a butterfly, well, most butterflies will have bright colors and most moths will have a dull coloring. Butterflies mostly fly in the daytime and moths mostly like to move around at night. For butterflies, they have knobs on the end of their antennae and a moth are kind of furry and they have no knobs. A butterfly will rest with its wings folded upright and a moth holds its wings out when they're resting. So there's a few little differences between a butterfly and a moth. So what do they look like? Like all insects, a butterfly has six legs and a pair of antennae. Antennae help butterflies smell and keep balanced. Did you know that they smelled with their antennae? They also have three main body parts. And like all insects, they have a head, they have a thorax, and they have an abdomen. Those are the three main parts of an insect that a butterfly has. So colors. Where do the butterflies get their bright colors? There are thousands of tiny little scales on a butterfly wing. This picture here shows a close-up and you can see all the tiny little pieces. It almost looks like a pixelated picture. So all those little scales give their butterflies their colors and their patterns. Each butterfly species has its own special colors and its own special markings. Butterfly wings can have different shapes too. So here we have a buckeye butterfly has marks that looks like eyes. Doesn't look like all of his little wings have their own little eyes. And on the other one, that is a giant tiger swallowtail, has a tail at the bottom of each one of his wings. So the first one, the wings are kind of rounded, and the other one, they have little points sticking out. So I guess all the different species of butterflies are just, they're the same, but yet they're a little bit different, just like you and I. Some butterflies rely on their colors to help them escape danger. Some animals will not eat butterflies because of certain colors. These colors are a sign that a butterfly will taste bad. Also, some colors help butterflies hide from their predators. So in the picture, there is a common brimstone butterfly and it looks just like a leaf. It's really hard to see the butterfly sitting on the plant because he blends right in. So eating. A butterfly uses its proboscis to eat. That is a long drinking tube and they use it like a straw to suck up food. They use it, they can reach way deep inside that flower and suck out all the nectar that they need. 
So butterflies feed on a flower nectar. Nectar is the sweet little liquid that plants make. Butterflies can also eat tree sap and rotting food, fruit. So, and you can see the little proboscis, it's all curled up there when it's not feeding. But when it's time to eat, it comes out like a, think of it like a long drinking straw. So where do butterflies really live? Butterflies live everywhere except Antarctica. More than half of all the butterfly species live in rainforests. And the rainforests are warm and wet, so many kind of plants grow in those conditions. And that is the perfect conditions and the perfect place for a butterfly to live. This is a blue morpho butterfly and it lives in the rainforest. Some butterflies migrate a long way each year. In the autumn, monarch butterflies migrate from as far as Canada all the way down to Mexico. The monarch can fly 80 miles in one day. So you can see all those monarchs there, they all get together and they all travel and they usually migrate 1,800 miles away. And we have some here and we have special blood of butterfly watchers that actually wait for all the monarchs to come through on their way down to Mexico to stay there for the winter where it's nice and warm. So it's the stages of life. Many female butterflies lay their sticky eggs on top of leaves. Some eggs hatch in a few days, but others can take a few months. When an egg hatches, a caterpillar comes out. The newborn caterpillar begins eating right away. And so it will start eating those leaves as soon as it comes out. The growing caterpillar then will molt when it becomes too big for its skin. Molting kind of shedding. So a molting caterpillar sheds its old skin and growing caterpillars will molt or shed its skin many times in its lifetime. So when the caterpillar is fully grown, it stops eating. It sheds its skin for the very last time. Then the caterpillar grows a hard covering and turns into a chrysalis. This is the beginning of an insect's metamorphosis. So you can see the this is a monarch chrysalis. So there is a caterpillar that shed and shed and shed. And then when it was finally full grown and shed, it made a chrysalis like this and it's gonna become a monarch butterfly. So during the metamorphosis stage, that chrysalis also changes. Metamorphosis can take two weeks or it can take a few months, but when it is complete, the butterfly breaks out of the chrysalis shell. That caterpillar that went into the shell now comes out a beautiful butterfly. How exciting is that? So let's do some counting with butterflies. This emperor penguin has never seen a butterfly. Butterflies live in North America, South America, Europe, Asia, Australia, and Africa, but there are no butterflies in Antarctica. So there are zero. Zero is a number, but it has no value. Let's learn what butterflies are called around the world. So zero is our first number. So 10. Let's count the butterflies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have counted all the way to ten and ten butterflies. 
Let's keep counting and see if we can count to 20. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. But wait, not all of these are butterflies. Some of these are moths. I guess we tricked you. Moths can be very similar to butterflies. One. Let's start counting again with this one. Here is a red zardinia. Butterflies do not have a mouth with teeth. They have a curly proboscis, then they use it like a straw to sip up liquid. Two butterflies. Can you count two holly blue butterflies? One, two. Butterflies have two antennae, and they use their antennae to smell. Three. Here are three green cloudless sulfur butterflies. Butterflies have three main body parts, the head, the thorax, and an abdomen. Four. These four purple butterflies are called amethyst hair streaks. Butterflies have four wings, two fore wings and two hind wings. Five. Let's count the five Julias. There are about 20,000 different species of butterflies with hundreds of different wing shapes. So what shape do you like best so far? Six. Here are six black great Mormons. Butterflies are insects. All insects have six legs, which are attached to their thorax. Butterflies taste with their feet. Now isn't this getting interesting? They smell with their antennae and they taste with their feet. Seven. These seven butterflies are called Florida whites. Butterflies do not fly in a straight line. The slightest breeze affects them. So they fly erratically, crookedly, and twistingly. They are zigzaggy, jumpy, bumpy, and fluttery. This helps them avoid predators. Eight. These eight pink tipped clear wings have see-through fore wings and pink hind wings. Being transparent is a great way for these butterflies to camouflage themselves. Nine. These nine yellow butterflies are called tailed sulfurs. Many species of butterflies are yellow. Butter is also yellow. Is this where that word butterfly comes from? Hmm. 10. Can you count the tannerines? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Red, blue, green, purple, orange, black, white, pink, yellow, brown. Did you notice we just learned 10 numbers, 10 colors, and a bunch of butterfly nature facts. 11. Let's keep counting higher and look at these multicolor butterflies. These 11 butterflies are called white admirals. When butterflies land, they put their wings up. Remember we learned that in the other book? Their wings go up when they are resting. 12. Enjoy these 12 blue triangles. It is common for blue triangles and other butterflies to drink from mud puddles. They call this mud puddling. 13. These are 13 morning cloaks. Snakes, fish, moss, and lizard all have scales.
butterflies have scales too on their wings. Most people don't think of butterflies as scaly creatures. But remember, that's where we saw all those little scales is what gives them their unique colors. 14. Count the 14 yellow pansies. It is not a good idea to touch butterfly wings. They are very fragile. It is not powder or dust that comes off the wings, but their scales. Have you ever touched a butterfly and you thought you had powder or dust coming? That was the scales coming off of their wings. 15. Here are 15 Queen of Spain butterflies. These butterflies breathe through openings in their abdomens called spiracles. 16. Count the 16 ghost brimstones. Don't be afraid. A butterfly cannot bite or pinch you. It cannot scratch and it cannot sting. Butterflies have no teeth, no fangs, no sharp toenails, and no stingers. 17. There are 17 blue eye mark butterflies here. The word for butterfly poop is frass. Another little fun fact. 18. Say hello to 18 giant swallowtails. The color and design on the top of butterfly wings is almost always completely different than the underside. The sign for butterfly in sign language is made by interlocking your thumbs and flapping your hands like wings. 19. Can you count the 19 striped blue crows? Guess what? There's no such thing as a baby butterfly. All butterflies are adults. So should we learn about the, butter, the life cycle of a butterfly? 20. So count the 20 pipe vine swallowtail butterfly eggs. The life cycle of a butterfly is one of nature's marvels. It starts when a butterfly lays eggs on a leaf. The leaf will be food for the egg when it hatches. See all those little red dots? Those are the butterfly eggs. 21. Butterfly eggs hatch into caterpillars, and caterpillars come in all different shapes, sizes, and colors. The illustrator for this book painted 21 different species here. Can you find them all? These caterpillars will eat and eat and eat and become big and fat, and it's all part of their life cycle. 22. Here are 22 chrysalises. A caterpillar spins into a chrysalis and then later will transform into an adult butterfly. Look, two blue morphos have just emerged. The top side of their wings are blue and the underside is brown. Very different coloring, isn't it? 23. The life cycle of a butterfly is called metamorphosis. The word metamorphosis means transformation. These 23 dido long wings have transformed from egg to caterpillar to chrysalis to a butterfly. 24. Just for a day. Would you like to be one of these 24 peacock butterflies? So here's the deal. To become a beautiful butterfly, you have to be an ugly caterpillar first. Hmm, think about that one. 25. If you were the first person to find this butterfly, what would you call it? 
Piano Keys is the perfect name, don't you think? Do you see on the wings it almost looks like Piano Keys? So zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five butterflies and one penguin is what we have read about so far. So a butterfly in Great Britain is called a butterfly. But don't be silly, this is not a butterfly. This is a grasshopper. Maybe we should study grasshoppers next. Okay, we are going to do the butterfly song and we're going to learn the four different stages to a butterfly. Your wings until they 
Next book is A Butterfly is Patient. A butterfly is patient. It begins as an egg underneath an umbrella of leaves protected from rain, hidden from creatures that might harm it, until the caterpillar inside chews free from its egg casing, tiny wingless and hungry to grow. A butterfly is creative. A caterpillar feeds on leaves, eating so much that it must molt or shed its own skin many, many times. It can grow up to 30,000 times larger than it was when it took its very first bite. So that means it can start off very, very, very tiny. Once a caterpillar has eaten all that it needs, it creates a protective covering called a chrysalis. Curled inside the chrysalis, it is growing their wings. Now it is time for the metamorphosis or the changing from one form to another. A butterfly is helpful. Butterflies, just like bees, help pollinate plants so they can reproduce or make seeds. As a butterfly flies from flower to flower, sipping nectar, tiny grains of pollen cling to its body, then fall away onto other flowers. Seeds are only produced when pollen is transferred between flowers of the same species. That is called pollination. A butterfly is protective. So butterflies use their wings to protect themselves from predators such as a hungry bird, a lizard, or other insects. Some butterflies have markings on their wings called eye spots. Scientists don't know what they are used for, but perhaps to scare away predators or attract mates. Wings can help butterflies camouflage or hide themselves in the environment. One kind of butterfly, the peacock butterfly, makes a hissing sound by rubbing its wings together when it's alarmed. A butterfly is poisonous. The warning colors of some butterfly wings, yellow, red, orange, white, and black, tell predators that they are poisonous or bad tasting butterflies. Monarchs and pipevine swallowtails eat poisonous plants as caterpillars so that they become poisonous when they're adult butterflies. Birds and other insects have learned not to eat them. A butterfly is spectacular. Look at all the different sizes and shapes and colors of all these butterflies. A butterfly is thirsty. Remember we said they use their long um, 
straw-like to suck up all the, the liquid and food that they need, like the nectar or soaking it up in the mud. A butterfly is big. This one is the Queen Alexandra's birdwing. It is the largest butterfly in the world with a wingspan up to one foot. It lives in the rainforest in the northern Papua New Guinea. That is a big butterfly. I don't know if I, what I would do if I saw a butterfly with a one foot wingspan. Here is the smallest little butterfly, and it's rarely seen. It is an Arkin small blue, and it's found in Afghanistan with a wingspan of less than a third of an inch. That means it's about the length of a grain of salt, or grain of rice, excuse me. So if you look at a little piece of rice, that's how big that butterfly is. That is very tiny. So a butterfly is scaly. A rainbow of shiny powdery scales cover the wings of a butterfly. Scales stack like shingles on a roof. Without these scales, the wings would be as transparent as the wings of a bee or a dragonfly. The colors, patterns, and shapes of a butterfly wing have a purpose. Some use their pattern of colors to attract a mate. In places where the climate is cool, dark scales absorb the heat from the sun, warming the butterfly's flight muscles. Butterflies are cold-blooded and must have a body temperature of 86 degrees Fahrenheit to fly. So if you look in this picture, you see the one page, that's how we see the wings. But then if we put a magnifying glass up, you would see that that wing is made up of all those tiny little scales. So different. A butterfly is not a moth. Moth and butterflies belong to the same family of insects that are called the scale wings family but they are the only insects with scaly wings, but there are differences between them. Moss appeared on Earth between 100 and 190 million years ago. Butterflies appeared 40 million years ago when flowering plants and the nectar most butterflies need to survive started to evolve, the butterflies came. Nearly every kind of butterfly flies during the day, while most of the moths will fly at night. A moth spins a cocoon made of silk, and a butterfly wraps itself in a chrysalis made of its own skin. So when they go from that egg, or the caterpillar period, there's two different types. If you're a moth, you will make a cocoon made of silk, and if you're a butterfly, you'll make a chrysalis from your own skin. A butterfly is a traveler. Most butterflies, such as the red admiral or the common buckeye, migrate a short distance to find a warmer place, but some, like the monarch, will travel far. Although monarchs weigh only as much as a few rose petals, they can fly almost 3,000 miles. From, they go from Canada to their winter home all the way down to Mexico. And they can fly at an average about 20 miles an hour, but they can fly up to 80 miles an hour. Glider pilots have reported seeing monarchs flying at an altitude of 11,000 feet. That is higher than some of the clouds. A butterfly is magical. Monarchs gather in huge numbers in the forest of central Mexico, waiting for spring to come. Then they fly north to the milkweed plants in North America where they will lay their eggs. Now it is time again 
for their metamorphosis. Isn't that so cool that all these monarchs come from the northern United States and come from Canada and they all go down to Mexico and meet and just kind of hang out until spring? A butterfly is patient. The egg hatches, the caterpillar emerges, feasting on leaves before it wraps itself into its warm, protective chrysalis, patiently waiting. What happens? To soar, because out of the chrysalis comes a beautiful butterfly. The very impatient caterpillar we needed a fun story today, didn't we? Hey, what are you guys doing? We're going to metamorphosize. Meta what now? We're going to go transform into butterflies. Right, 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 right. I knew that. Wait, you're telling me that I can become a butterfly? Yes. With wings. Yes. For real. Yes. Well, wait for me. I think that caterpillar is excited. Okay. Now what? Now you must build your chrysalis. Chrysalis. Right. Right. I knew that. What? How do I do that? Is it a spin or is it more of a twirl? Look at his friend has already turned into a chrysalis. He needs to figure this out. He's spinning. He's spinning. Am I a butterfly yet? Oh, he's Francis. Okay, now what? Just be patient. Let nature take its course. Patient. Right. Right. I got this. Am I a butterfly yet? No. How about now? No. Now? No. Just be patient. I have some questions. Not yet. You don't even know what I was going to ask. Fine. Ask. So, how's your day going? Also, am I a butterfly yet? No! Just be patient. Oh, that caterpillar wants to become a butterfly so bad. He has to learn just to hang out and be patient. are trying to metamorphosize. All of those other caterpillars are telling him to shh, please be quiet. Okay, okay, I'll wait. Obviously, I know this, but do you know how long this takes? Two weeks. Right, right, two weeks. Two weeks? Oh, what am I going to do in here for two weeks? Can I get a comic book or something? What if I want a snack? Can I call somebody? Hello? Two pizzas, please. My address? Oh, I'm stuck in a chrysalis. Hello? Oh, my goodness. How long have I been in here? What if I need to go to the bathroom? Anyone want to play a game with me? Wait. It's still day one? Oh, this is taking forever. That's it. I feel like I'm metamorphosized enough. Let me out. Look out, world. Feast your eyes on this beautiful butterfly. How do I look? Transformed? 
time to spread my wings and fly. I don't know. What do you guys think? He doesn't look much like a butterfly to me. Wait, wait, wait! Where are my wings? Ugh. I guess it's time for a new approach. Alright, so he went back into his chrysalis. And he is going to stay in there and be patient. You can do this. Oh, who am I kidding? I can't be patient. You are the little caterpillar that could. I am the little caterpillar that couldn't. Get a grip. You can do this. I can't. I can't. You can. I can't. You can. I can't. You can. I can't. Can. Can't. I think that squirrel is thinking that chrysalis is a little kooky. I can be patient. Patient is all in the mind. Be one with your chrysalis. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Look, I am already on day six. I am doing this. Just be patient. Just be patient. Just be patient. And then, two weeks later, I did it! I am a butterfly. You know, I do feel transformed. Starting now, I am going to be way more patient. That's great to hear. Hey, where are y'all going? Well, we're migrating. Migrating? Right, right. Wait for me! Are we there yet? Oh. Well, he tried to be a very patient caterpillar. It was tough, but he did make it and finally became a butterfly. And that is our story time. Really hope you enjoyed it. We will see you next time. Bye-bye.